Hello everyone. Welcome back to the next session on Java 8 series. Today we will cover the new date time API which was added in Java 8. We'll see why it was required at the first place and later how it can be used for various scenarios with examples. Before we start, if you are new to the channel or has not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any new update. So without any further delay, let's start. New datetime API is introduced in Java 8. It was introduced to overcome the drawbacks of old datetime API, which are like this. First issue was thread safety. Old date was not thread safe, but the new datetime API is made immutable and does not have a setter method, which makes it thread safe and it can be used in multi-threaded environments. Second one is less operations. In old API, there are only few date operations, but in new API, they have provided us with many date operations available. Third one was poor design of the old API. The next was difficulty for time zone handling. So developers had to write a lot of code to deal with the time zone issues. But the new API has been developed keeping the domain specific design in mind and time zone handling is much easier in this case. Now let's see the most important classes introduced in Java 8 new date time API. The first one is local. So the simplified date time API with no complexity of time zone handling for that we will be using the local classes. Then we have other category which is zoned. So the specialized daytime API to deal with the various time zones, we will be using the zone level classes. We have local date, local time and local date time API and we use it when time zones are not required. On the other hand, when the time zone is required, then we will be using zone date time API. Now let's take a look at few examples also how we can utilize the new date time API. So if we want to get the current date only with year, month and date, so we can use local date and we can get the value for as local date dot now. So it will result output in this fashion year, month and date. And if we want to get only the current time instead of using local date, we can use local time and similarly local time dot now will return the complete timestamp without the date. And based on our requirement, if we need both, we can use local date time. So similarly, we need to call local date time dot now. It will result date as well as the timestamp also. Now suppose we want the date and time in a specific format. So earlier we used to use simple date format, but in Java they have provided the date time formatter. So here we can specify in which pattern we want the date and after that, uh, using the current date and time which we have just got we can use the format method on top of that and pass the uh, pattern format which we have just created so this will result in the date in the specific format which we require we can even get the month day of the month and seconds as well so what if zone is also required so in that case we will be using zoned date time so in that similarly we will get its instance from zone date time dot now and it will return uh, the output in this format it will be a date a time and after that it will give us the offset and as well as the time zone so here uh, when i executed on my system it was uh, in indian standard time so the zone name for that is asia calcutta so now suppose we want to convert this specific time to some other zone also and we want to see what will be the corresponding uh, date and time available there in Asia Tokyo also. So that can also be done using this. So we will get the zone ID using zone ID dot off and then we'll provide the zone name. Zone name will be a text value. It will return the zone ID of uh, Asia slash Tokyo time zone and we will create a new zone date time and using with zone same instant in this we will be passing the target time zone on the current zone where we have got the value for asia calcutta so this will result in the similar output the only difference will be the time will be converted from uh, asia calcutta to asia tokyo so here you can see the difference is there 
in addition to local and zoned classes we have couple of more classes which were introduced for uh, one was period it deals with the date but depending on the amount of time and we have duration as well that specifically deals with the time only depending on the amount of time itself so let's try to understand examples of uh, both of these classes so here suppose i want to find gap between uh, two different dates so i can use period here so this is my date one this is a local date dot now it will get the current date instance and second one is date two where i am create returning the instance of date of 2020 july 15th so if i want to find the gap between these two dates i can use period so in this period dot between this method is used and it will require two date instances so output in this you will be able to see is p 1 y 11 m 19 d so this is actually a iso 8061 format for time durations so p signifies the period one uh, just before y signifies it's one year then we have 11 months and 19 days so this is the actual period between these two dates which we have defined and regarding the duration suppose if we want to add one hour to the current time itself so here we have local time and uh, we define a duration instance there we pass uh, one hour as an argument so this one hour instance means one hour of duration and the second time which is time two what we are doing we are adding the one hour duration to time one so how we are doing that we are using time one dot plus and the duration that we want to add to time one that means if time one is 9 am then time two will be 10 am then we can have an instance of duration here gap and similar to the period we will get it using dot between method by passing both the local time as arguments and in this case we will get output as pt 1h so in this we have pt means it's a period of time and 1h means one hour of gap between these two so these are the most common scenarios where we can utilize java 8 new date time api so i have tried to cover uh, all the functions that's it for this video if you have any suggestions please do comment that's it for this video if you have any suggestions please do comment as it will help me to improve my content and thank you so much everyone for your support see you soon with more new topics till then goodbye and take care